up with a slow motion crew and we up in our growlings when people change but not us and we just chilling kicking it kissed by the sun could be soaked to the skin in the moss soon i know she got the good Hey guys, it's me, Koi Crafty, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make DIY aesthetic mouse pad. And if you are new, hi, I'm Koi Crafty. I make lots of art and DIY videos like this. So if you are interested in those, consider subscribing, join the Koi family. And without further ado, let's get on with this video. So the things you'll need are some cardboard, I'm using an old trifold board, some bristle board, paint brushes, I'm using a for a round, a random flat brush, a fan brush, and a foam brush. And you're going to need lots of paint, so I have violet, white, brilliant blue, and brilliant red, I think. And you're going to need some Mod Podge to gloss over your creation, a pencil and an eraser, and obviously a protractor or something that's circular that you can use, and some heavy duty and some regular craft scissors, and yeah. So you're going to start by taking your cardboard and your compass. Yes, I previously called it a protractor. Please don't come at me for that. And now I'm going to take out the wooden pencil I did not realize I had there. I'm going to put it in the compass and I'm going to measure out 5 inches which on the side of my compass container it had a small ruler which I'm really glad they had. And I'm going to just draw this on the cardboard. I end up realizing that it did not fit as you see here. So. I ended up going off camera and I measured 4 inches as you can see right here and it fits perfectly fine on the cardboard and if you didn't notice this mouse pad will end up being a 9 inch wide circle yes I'm taking very long because I haven't used a compass in a very long time so now you're going to use some heavy duty scissors and cut out your circle and once you do that it should look something like this and now you're going to use some white paint or gesso to once you finish painting your base color with either the white paint or gesso it should look like this and now you're going to paint on your sunset colors so I'm going to make mine pastel, you can do whatever you want, and yeah. Hi, it's me Kwai Crafty again, and I just want to bring to your attention Kwai Merch Store. They have lots of Kwai stationery, plushies, things like that. If you guys are interested in those things, they are super inexpensive as well. So here is the link, and I have an affiliate code, so Kwai Crafty 886. K in Kawaii and the C in Crafty are both capitalized. I will leave them in the description box down below if you guys are interested. And without further ado, let's continue with the video. So once you've finished painting your sunset, it should look something like this. And now you're going to take some white acrylic paint and I decided to put it in a palette. I did not include it in the materials list that I had shown before because it was a sudden idea in the middle of a filming so sorry about that and now you're going to take a four round brush and paint a cloud on with like some circular motions and i wasn't filming this in frame so i decided to cut it out and then i'm going to take a fan brush and make some c strokes to blur out the cloud so it just doesn't look like a white blob sitting in the middle of the sky. So 
So once you finish painting your clouds and a few stars at the top, take some Mod Podge or whatever you want to use as a glaze and just put some on. Then you're going to take a flat brush and distribute it across and make an even coat of Mod Podge on the entire mouse pad. Just this side though because the other side still needs a bit of work to be done and doesn't need a glaze. Once the glaze has dried, take your bristle board and put your mouse pad on there. Then take a pencil and draw the outline. And there was a random hair sitting there, so I decided to take that off and throw in the garbage. Then continue drawing. Sorry about that. Once you finish drawing the outline, you're going to take some craft scissors and cut it out. So it should look like this. I flipped my mouse pad over because I just wanted to put a bit of paper on the back so it doesn't look so unfinished. Then I'm going to use some Mod Podge to glue it together. You can use whatever you glue. I can talk. Glue you want. Even hot glue would work. Then take a flat brush and just brush an even coat of Mod Podge across the entire surface. You won't need to focus. Just focus on the outer sides of the circle rather than the center because, oops, this is the wrong side, because you can just flatten it later with your hands and a flat object. So just press the paper down on the mouse pad and I decided to take a pencil and just press it along the mouse pad to just sandwich it together. And you should be done, but if your outline did not match, take some scissors and cut off the excess paper that might be still sitting there. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, make sure to do so in the comment section down below. And consider subscribing if you are new and you like these kinds of things. Crafts, art, something like that. So I hope to see you guys in my next video and any other future videos. See you guys later, and don't forget to be kind and be quiet. Bye!